Welcome to the Buriram Stadium here in Buriram, the Thundercastle is more affectionately known for the second match of the day in Group J as the bottom side Guangzhou FC without a point or a goal so far take on Kichi who will be looking to close the gap on the group leaders if they can pick up their second win of the competition. Earlier on today, Cereza Wasaka had to come from behind to grab a point off Port FC. So they still top the group on seven points. Port on four. Kichi would go above them with a win. Guangzhou still to get off the mark and still to score a goal in this fairly youthful side that the Chinese have sent to the tournament. Let's see what they can produce this afternoon, or this evening rather. 28 degrees Celsius, just below the 30 degrees we need for a drinks break. Hot and humid throughout Thailand, throughout the course of this competition. Though I'm pleased to say that here in Buriram, in the sort of lower northeastern corner, that we do have a dry day so far. First game was extremely competitive. Port flying the flag for the home nation. Giving a very good account of themselves against Cerezo, who made plenty of changes today, 10 in their starting lineup. They really had to battle hard in the second half to rescue a point. It looked for a long time as if Port would be going top of the table. <laughs> Guangzhou have such a great tradition in this competition. It's their 10th appearance. The only team from China to win this competition twice in 2013 and 2015. But I'm sure Kitchi will fancy their chances. They know despite the youth in the Guangzhou side, they've been saying what a good team they are. And of course, Kitchi contain the man who scored more goals than anybody else in the AFC Champions League, Champions League Dejan Damjanovic, who broke that record previously held by Lee Dong-guk. 38 goals in 69 games. Lee Dong-guk scored 37 in 74. A great record from Dejan Damjanovic, who actually played against Guangzhou for FC Seoul and scored in the 2013 final when Seoul won on away goals over the two legs. But he said those were his, or that was his most important goal because it really helped at the time to put Korean football on the map in terms of getting to the final of a major continental competition. Now playing his trade with Kitchi in Hong Kong. And a whole new ball game for Damjanovic. They're a side that have played pretty well so far in their own two games. Got off to a 2-0 win over Port FC before narrowly losing out to Sarazo Wasaka three days ago. Damjanovic has been on the mark in both games so far. And he's ably supported by the likes of Clayton and Raul Baena. And he's got Sebastian Buddle up front alongside him today. We'll give you the confirmed team news very soon. Not too many changes through either side. age of the Guangzhou side is round about 20. They have got five 16-year-olds in the squad. Haven't seen too much of the, the very young players just yet. Li Ji is the man in charge, the assistant, well, one of the assistants to Fabio Cannavaro for the Guangzhou first team. Chichu Kuang is the man in charge of Kichi. Lee Ji Yu said he'd watched both of Kitchi's games back at the hotel and they've analysed and seen how they can plot to win. But as we said earlier, they've yet to score a goal. They were beaten 2-0 by Cerezo Osaka and 3-0 by Port FC in their last game, the Chinese.
Kichi staff and substitutes just awaiting the arrival of the two teams. Good stadium, this closed in corners makes it feel nice and compact. Action's quite close to the pitch, the supporters are quite close to the pitch when they are in this stadium. Hopefully they'll be back soon. But for the moment we are of course behind closed doors due to the coronavirus restrictions. So here come our two teams, led out by the match officials. Teresa Osaka setting the pace at the top of the group. So these two looking to close that gap today. Guangzhou, if they can get off the mark, it drags them right back into the mix. A defeat for them today. And it would be not only destroying a little bit of confidence, but also leaving them with a mountain to climb to try and qualify for the knockout stages. Kichi, though, have played some good football. And as we say, with Dejan Damjanovic up front, they have a natural goal scorer and a man who will look to capitalise on any errors at the back, that's for sure. Great honour for these players to represent such a huge club as Guangzhou. Most of these players just starting, starting out on a footballing career path, wondering where it will take them in the future. It's a much more experienced Kitchi side, several players over the age of 30. Daniel Cancella is 39, Helio at the back is 35, and well, Dejan Damjanovic himself is 39 as well. So they have experience. Will the youth prevail in these hot and humid conditions? Let's take a look at our two team lineups. Mention that youthful squad coach Lee Zhi Yu makes two changes to the side that were beaten by Port three days ago. Keeper in the back four remain the same. The first change sees Chen Kun come in for his first appearance in the competition. He replaces Ruan Sai. The other changes in midfield as well as Wang Wen Shan comes in, who came on late in both matches. He gets his first start. Referees from Kibet, Kuwait. Ali Shaban, fourth official for Guangzhou's 2-0 defeat to Cerezo Osaka. He also refereed in the group stages in the Western section in April and also in last year's competition in Qatar. Kichi make three changes to the side that lost out to Cerezo. Huang Yang is suspended after two yellow cards, while Law and Roberto drop to the bench. Ho Chun Ting and Tong Kin Muan and Sebastian Buddle all make their first starts in the competition all have appeared off the bench at some point during the opening two matches. A couple of players, importantly, on yellow cards there, Clayton being one of them, the combative midfielder. Here are the two benches. Alex Akande still nursing a little bit of a back problem for Kitchi, so still not fit enough to start. He's on the bench, having come on in the last match. Paolo Cesar is the Kitchi goalkeeper. There is the record breaker. Dejan Damjanovic preparing to get us underway. Kitchi all in blue will kick from right to left in the first half. Got the firepower. Have they got the patience to see off this Guangzhou side? Early touch for Cancella. Park. Park and Helio have formed a central defensive partnership. Hey, hey. 
Shots outside midfield already. It's Lin Chin Tao. Free kick to Guangzhou. Li Yu has been a, an analyst for various teams in the past. So he knows all about the tactical side of the game. He's uh, worked with the Chinese national team. Zhang Zhili over the free kick away by Cancella. Ho has left the ball behind. Chase on here for Dejan. Wang Jianqing prevents the corner. Dejan Damjanovic proving a real tonic for Alex Chu, the Kichi coach. Alex Chu, who's been a caretaker on a number of occasions. Became their director of football in 2016. He was named in March 2020. He's just gone out of play. Clayton's been instrumental so far in Kitchi's performances, the Brazilian. He's on a yellow card, though. Dejan, hold off the challenge, well, he's a, he's a big physical presence, Dejan. Raul Baena. Oh, Helio, the captain. Cancella. Off the shins of Chen Raijin. First ever meeting between these two sides. Guangzhou have won both their previous games against sides from Hong Kong. They beat Eastern in the 2017 group section 13-0 over the two legs. But Hong Kong sides have never actually scored against games against Chinese. So they played Chinese teams four times, the participants from Hong Kong never scored, conceded 17. Kitchi could make themselves into the, the record book, so to speak. It's a, a good block from Chen Raijin. Fan Hengbo started all three matches now. 20 year old. They haven't created too many chances in their only two matches, Guangzhou. That's something that Li Zhi Yu will be hoping that they can put right today. Cancella, Helio, play Tom couldn't quite kick the ball in over on that far side he's got Sebastian Buddle in front of him today who came on 
with eight minutes to go against Cerezo in the last match, Sebastian Buddle. So, first chance we've really had to have a look at him from the start. 21 year old who's been at Kitchi all his career. I say all his career, only since 2016 uh, 17. Here's all. Is the shaft from the, the bench down below? It's gone all the way back to Paolo Cesar. Cancella. Clayton. Well, it's bounced awkwardly, this is all. A little bit of space. Maybe he sort of thought about the first time shot. He was just a little bit hesitant there when it came to him. Matt Orr. A positive start from Kitchi. Cancella's throw. Orr had stayed short. Oh, Clayton, lovely feet, Clayton, good ball across, good clearance and right in front of goal. When Tian King was clearing that ball away, Park was the player closing in on it. That was Buddle actually in the middle. Corner for Clayton. This is out, everybody. Long range shot, good save. Raul Baena hit that first time, and he wouldn't have seen that till late. Zhang Jianjin, you could hear the fury in his voice with his defenders. Allowing the shot, it came through a crowd of players. It was a wonderful one handed save. That was going in the bottom corner. Would have been unsighted slightly by. Wang Tian King in front of him. That's what a goalkeeper should do. Shout at your defenders. He's unlucky with one of the goals against Cerezo. Zhang Jin Ji. Tiago's had a, got a touch on it, hit the underside of the bar and went in though. Away by Chen Raijin, knew that all was behind him, had to deal with that. Actually, born in Kong, Hong, Hong Kong, Alex Chu played for CB and Sing Tao during a playing career. Now based in Kowloon. Kitchi, directly north of Hong Kong Island. Over comes the corner. Goalkeeper pushes that one away. There might be a break on here for Guangzhou. Clayton coming back. Oh, that's a foul on Liao Jintao with the game's first yellow card as well. And indeed for Raul Baena. Into the book. Clayton couldn't get there. It's a, a cynical challenge by Raul Baena. Just rugby tackled him to the ground. And a yellow card. His first yellow card of the tournament. Raul Baena, the Spaniard. Joined Kitchi for the 2020-21 season for Atromitros in Greece. Here he is on the ball again, Raul Baena. Now Helio. Daniel Cancella. 
Cella and Helio, born in Spain and Brazil, respectively, but both now Hong Kong residents. Here's Helio. Raul Baena. Did win the Hong Kong League by three points from Eastern Kitchi. 11 wins in 17 games. It was a great season for them. Just conceded the 12 goals in that league campaign. Got themselves through to the Sapling Cup final, the semi-finals as well, but beaten by Eastern, who exacted some revenge. Had a good season in the league, 17 goals in 14 appearances. Back to back hat tricks against Happy Valley and Hong Kong Rangers. Goalless after the opening 12 minutes. It's Liao Jintao. Raul Baena. <laughs> Guangzhou coach Li Shi Yu felt his side had been unlucky. Four of the five goals they've conceded have been from headers. Something that they'll be desperate to try and stamp out today. But when you have a striker the likes of Dejan Damianovic, who is so good in the air, it's going to be very difficult for those defenders if there's a delivery coming into him. on the cross, headed away by Chen Quan Jing for a corner. frantically making his notes already. Plenty of movement in the penalty area. They've defended that well. This was the area we were saying a moment ago there. A little susceptible at the back. Fan Heng Bo. It's Clayton. Kitchi know that a victory today would put them just a point behind Cerezo Osaka. These are the back-to-back -back fixtures, match days three and four, so they'll meet Guangzhou again in three days' time. Hey. 
Paul Ricochets out of play. Chen Kun, they've got plenty of players back behind the ball at the moment, Guangzhou. This will test all Kitchi's creative forward play through midfield. Not saying they're being defensive in any way, shape or form, but they're just getting players back behind the ball and doing a job that they need to do at the moment. I hope that Kitchi get frustrated and maybe commit players forward and allow Guangzhou some space at the back. Huang Kaizu, the central striker, has hardly had a kick so far. He's on the chase now. Has been assistant coach of the under 21s, Li Zhi Yu, as well, so he's used to working with the younger players in the squad. So worked extensively as a as a technical coach. Worked with Raddy Antic for five games when he was at Habai FC. It's Cancella. Trying to curl that one into the path of Dejan. It was a good ball and it was comfortably dealt with by Wang Wenxuan. It was alive to where Dejan was, it was a good ball by Cancella, trying to get some bend on it. Oh, one by Clayton, I think that may just have gone out of play, the flag stays down! And the shot goes just wide from home. That was a great run from Clayton, the Chinese were trying to shepherd that one out for a goal kick, the ball didn't go. Well, it did look for a moment as though it may just have trickled over the line, we might see from here. Two of them, Clayton was very clever, just there. Assistant kept the flag down, Ho put the shot wide, but that could have been... ...controversial. Maybe the whole the ball didn't cross the line. Very difficult to tell. Ball over the top, flags up against Juan Kaizu. Saw a great goal earlier on in the first game between Port FC and Teresa Osaka. Pakorn Prempak was some 20 metres inside his own half. He spotted Kenya, the Cerezo goalkeeper, off his line and bounced the ball over him from, I'll say, a good 20 metres inside his own half. Certainly the longest range goal we've seen in this group stage of the AFC Champions League so far. Might be a bit more conventional from these two. Clayton. Cancella. Took a slight deflection. Awkward one for the defender to deal with, but he managed to get a foot on it. It's good play from Clayton once again. He's by far the most creative of the midfielders for Kitchi. Overlap from Cancella. Clayton. Now making space for the cross. It's a good ball, too high for Damjanovic. Be kept alive here by Tong. Clayton. Nobody picked up the run into the box. Still going, Clayton. He was offside. Busy, Clayton. It's a player down injured. Chen Quanjiang. It's the man that stayed down, the captain. He just got a hand in the face from Clayton. A bit like a handoff in rugby. If he saw nothing untoward, he's okay. Third appearance from the start for Chen Quan Jing. Come <laughs> on. 
Here's Helio, still goalless. Game being played pretty much inside the Guangzhou half of the field at the moment. Good ball from all down the line into the path of Cancella. Might just have the room to cross. He was caught by Chen Raijin. Ball chipped out of play. Cancella, who felt that, was crying out for the first time cross. Cancella got it across, but he was caught after he played the ball. Midway point to the first half. Chase on for Juan Kezu. Boy by Tonkin Man. Touch for Buddle over on that far side. The ball has been mainly down the left hand side in his first half with Cancella, Roar, and Clayton. It's Helio, Cancella. It's good running from Ho. Again, he's double teamed. They're getting defenders across quickly. Chen Qing Zhang and Zhang Ji Hao. Buddle. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Sebastian Buddle was behind for a goal kick. Hasn't played too many times during his career, Buddle. Still to score a league goal. Had a lone spell out at Hoi King. Did score in the Sapling Cup. A year and a half ago against Hong Kong Rangers. But he's not yet established himself really as a, a regular first team member. The 21 year old. Chance for him here though to impress the coach. Stayed in play. Now he's got out. towards Dejan, hasn't had too much service so far, Dejan Damjanovic. Whether we put that down to poor service from Kitchi or whether we put it down to good marking by Guangzhou. His Buddle, now there might be a chance, hooked away by Wang Wenchuan. Huang Keizu. Not keeping hold of the ball very long at the moment, Guangzhou, giving it back cheaply. Now they've got it back with Lin Jintao and a chance maybe to break. 
Looking long for the run of Chen Kun. Cancella makes the challenge, but the defender was being fouled by Chen Kun. One of the two players coming into the side today, just 19 years of age, one of the younger members of the squad. So there are five 16-year-olds in the squad. A couple of 19-year-olds, the rest are 2021. It is a pretty much an under-21 team. But they're fairly even matched here after 26 and a half minutes. Kong League on ten occasions, Kitchi. First division six times in the Premier League title four. Left here to Tom. Kitchi dominant in terms of having the football at the moment. Play. Or. Kinchella's gone on the overlap. Good ball in from Or. Wasn't dealt with by Wang Tianqing. Buddle. Tong. Free header. Straight to the goalkeeper from all. It was a long way out there, Matt Hall. Really threw those neck muscles at it, but straight at the goalkeeper who had his positioning right, Zhang. It's more looped than hit with a downward power from Matt Hall. Looks to be the making of a very good goalkeeper, Chang. If you watch his positioning, reads the game very well. So hasn't been given much chance with the goals that he's conceded so far. Made a couple of important saves, he's already made one save in this game. Short turn wide from Raul Baena. Offside against Chen Kun. Guangzhou didn't have the best of seasons in this competition last year. They finished third in their group. They were behind Vissel Kobe, Suwon Blue Wings. Just the one win in the group stage last year against Vissel Kobe. Another corner. Clayton again. Looking for the slightly shorter delivery this time. Close to that near post. I'm not too sure he meant that, Clayton. Players coming across for the drinks break. Half an hour gone, just over. Dejan Damjanovic hasn't really seen too much of the ball in that first half. He's received plenty of plaudits for his 38 goals. One from the man who's the top scorer in the AFC Cup, Bienvenido Maranon, who's playing in this competition now for United FC. Spanish forward, the leading scorer with 35 goals in the AFC Cup. So he now playing for United and was quick to offer his congratulations to Dejan Damjanovic on breaking that record. 
25 of those goals came for FC Seoul. Almost got a touch on that one as it came into the box and Raul Baena following up. That was the save by Chang, just turning it wide. Clearest chance we've had for a goal in the opening half an hour here. It's a good save because he wouldn't have seen it till late. Orr's header a moment or so ago was a long way out. Always good to carry a bit of sustenance around with you as well. So it is very energy sapping here, the heat and humidity. Lots of strategically placed water bottles around the pitch, which the players take. Work delighted trying to have refreshment whenever they can. Anyway, we're back in play again. 13 minutes to go to half time, still goalless. Card for Van Hengbo. He's had a little kick out. That's why the yellow cards come out. Buddle on the chase. Clayton. Yeah, foul. Foul on Wang Tian King. Side flag up once again. Interesting to see as the longer the game develops at a nil-nil, whether the sides decide to change their tactics. Both will want to try and get a win from this. Coaches have got those five substitutions available to them if required. Israel Baena and Park. Clayton. Trying to slip it through for Ho. Damianovic was there as well. Helio. Cancella. Nice ball. Good play. Or oh, strong in the challenge. Good cross. Damianovic goes down. And it is a penalty. Well, the referee tried to play on, he's tried to wait to see if Ho would put the loose ball in. It's a yellow card. I think it was Chang Ji Hao that's got the yellow. But Damjanovic, as he went for that ball, there wasn't much contact. Ho fell on the ball. What I see from here was how much contact was on Damjanovic. Well, the arms across the chest, and if you're a striker, I'm sorry, but that's what strikers do. Can't put your arms up, can't raise your arms in the penalty box. And a chance for Dejan Damjanovic to score for the third consecutive match against Chang Jihai. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, and Dejan continues to set new records in this AFC Champions League. Goal number 39 and 70 matches. It's tough on Guangzhou, who defended well, but just a little bit of inexperience, you feel, for Chang Chi Hao. Just put his arm across Damianovic's chest and the player went down. And you can't fault the penalty right in the corner. 1-0.
there's another tussle. They're getting frustrated now, the Chinese, at some of the decisions. I don't feel that everything's going for them. It's Fan Heng Bo, the man himself that was booked not too long ago, that's taken a knock this time. Ho wrestled to the ground. That's uh, it's dangerous, really, for Raul Baena, who was booked early on. There's no need for it to go flying in like that with a boot so high. And that could have been a nasty one had he made contact, because I'm sure Raul Baena would have played no further part in the game. As it was, Van Hengbo's okay, so we're okay to continue. Kitchi would move them on to six points, a point behind Cerezo Osaka, who won earlier. Here's Dejan, shot took a deflection. Goes wide for a corner. Porter on four points at the moment. And Guangzhou propping up the table with zero. Helios gone forward for this. Park just lurking on the edge of the D. Plenty of movement, and it comes from Clayton. It was Helio. Dejan got the shot in. Just wide. He's looking really lively at the moment, Dejan. He's got the same number of goals in the AFC Champions League now that he has in years. 39. Had six years in Korea at Incheon United and FC Seoul. Played for Beijing and Jiangsu. Suwon Blue Wings, he's moved around Asia quite a lot over the last few years. Eight years ago, he scored for Montenegro in a match at Wembley when they drew 1-1 in a 2014 World Cup qualifier, one of the highlights of his career. It's Clayton. More pressure here for Guangzhou to absorb. The referee will just hold things. A bit of pushing. Second time of asking. Helios header. Buddle and Dejan trying to get on the end of that to turn it home. Buddle who fired it wide. that time <laughs> Wang Wenchan Chen Raijin heavy touch Raul Baena wins possession back at all. 
Ho's home. Shoved off the ball, good feet from Dejan. Or confident enough to get to the byline, good ball across. No one able to apply the touch. Buddle was arriving. Here's Clayton. Tom. Park. Helio. Happy to go back to the halfway line and start again, Kitchi. Raul Baena. Now Helio. Raul Baena. Just had a little word with Chang Zhili. Fallon Cancella, who's been in the wars in this first half. It'll be another yellow card for Chen Rai Jin this time. So three Guangzhou players have gone into the book in this first half. Second yellow card of the tournament. Clayton's ball in. Or oh, didn't get up high enough again. Once again, the goalkeeper berates his defenders. Chen Raijin will miss the next match, having picked up that second yellow card. Had started the three games so far. Challenge in the penalty area. Huang Keizu went down under Helio's challenge. And Guangzhou will say that was similar to the one that Deja won at the other end, but this one's not been given. Interesting to look at that one again. Huang Keizu hasn't had much space in the final third in this first half, but he felt he'd been brought down then. Park just spins away from. Juan Kezu, Helio, Raul Baena. Buggles header goes out of play. Three minutes added time at the end of the first half. There have been a couple of injuries. There was the, the drinks break, of course. Nice touch from Clayton. It's a little look up. Dejan touched it back. Or Ho. I thought he'd taken a deflection. He's gone behind for a goal kick. Couldn't get the shot on target. Ho Chun Ting. He scored his first senior goal back in April against Resources Capital. Ho Chun Ting, first start tonight. He's done okay, the 22 year old.
foul goes against Guangzhou. It just really isn't running for them at the moment. Chen Kun that time penalised. You can see the frustration on the players' faces. It doesn't help, of course, that results are going against them and they've conceded a goal here from that penalty that they hotly disputed, but what a penalty. All brought down by Finn Hingbo. Chen Kun should be the end of the action for the first half. Tong goes across to take the throw, but there will be no time for the throw as our Kuwaiti referee brings the game to a close. Dejan Damjanovic scoring for the third consecutive match. A penalty after Zheng Jihao was adjudged to have brought down Dejan in the area. It was a well-taken penalty, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Clayton has pulled the strings in midfield. Zhang made a great save from Raul Baena early on in that half. But Guangzhou, who've lost their opening two, find themselves trailing again at the halfway point here. It's Guangzhou FC nil, Kitchi SC one.
Welcome back to Buriram. Guangzhou not having the rub of the green and making a couple of changes at half time to freshen things up. Rao Chen and Chao Wenjie are coming on. See who the players are to make way. Just a second. Here comes the board. So Chang Chi Hao, who picked up a yellow in that first half, is one of the players to go off. And the other is Huang Keizu who was the central striker in that first half, who's gone off. Kitchi leading by a goal to nil. Adejem Daniel Janovic penalty. 36 minutes in after he'd been brought down by Zhang Jihao. Kitchi, all in dark blue. That's Guangzhou that get us underway for the second half. Still looking for their first goal in the competition. Two and a half matches in. Kitchi, who have already picked up one victory in their opening game against Port FC. So with a win, they would move to within a point of Sarazo Osaka at the top of the table. They were held to a 1-1 draw by Port earlier on today in this stadium. Ball blocked is Dejan trying to create the opening. Shot was blocked too many red shirts back behind the ball. Straight away at the start of the second half, an opening for Kitchi. Clayton. Muddle. Rel Bayena. Third appearance off the bench for Rao Chen. Came on at half time, being bought in the, the last match. It's Park. It's a good angle ball. It's just flicked off the head of Chen Rai Jin. Zhao Wen Che, the other substitute. Just one appearance for him so far. Played the final 30 minutes in the last match. Jin just got the faintest of touches to that to send it behind for a corner. But Orr's header. And they still can't bundle it over the line. And off the underside of the bar and away. Well, still it's on away. Ralph Bayena with a shot. They're lining up here, Dejan, and eventually Guangzhou get the ball away. Quite again how that stayed out. Park Jun Hyung was the player that tried to shepherd that one over the line. Chen Quang Jing Jiang rather is down. Well they were queuing up there, and nobody could apply the final finish. Or had a chance, Park had a chance. Dejan probably had the tougher one of the chances with too many bodies between him and goal, but they couldn't find a way through. It was Orr's header. Buddle, that was blocked. Park at the underside of the bar. Raul Bayena shot was blocked. The ball certainly didn't go over the line. Four players converged on it. Park at the underside of the bar. Great scramble at the start of the second half. Stays 1 0. Captain just hobbling slightly still. Chen Kan Jiang. What a chance for Park, though, to put his name on the score sheet. Oh, 
Here's Clayton. Looking for Buddle. Passer is a little bit over hit. Clayton redeems himself, wins the throw. I don't think Chen Kanjiang's going to be able to continue. He's gone down again here. Might be disappointing. Caught by Buddle, I think, as Buddle swung a leg. I think he caught his left ankle just before Park hit the underside of the bar. It could so easily have gone in off Chang, the goalkeeper. Guangzhou eventually hooked the ball away. The captain hobbles off. Temporarily be down to 10 men while they just get a substitute sorted out. Captain's armband has been handed over to Fang Hengbo. <laughs> Chu Jiancheng is the player that's going to come on. It's Park. Rolled by Aina. Buddle. Good run by Buddle. Trying into trouble though. Park's challenge, another player down injured. It's Chao Wenche. They won the ballpark. Substitution has now been made, so Guangzhou back up to a full complement. Chow, the 19-year-old, making his first appearance in the competition. Here's Lin Jintao. It's bouncing through. Fan Hengbo was onto it. I'm not too sure he might have been flagged for offside had he got a touch on that, but it was gathered in by Paolo. Hasn't had too much to do in this first half. Paolo Cesar. Kitchi goalkeeper. Tong Buddle did well to get that one across. Hope Clayton. Oh, the referee just got in the way. Clayton gives him a glare, thinking he should have had a drop ball. The ball didn't hit the referee. Referee just got in Clayton's way. It was unfortunate. He was just getting ready to pull the trigger then as well. Oh, by Aina. Dejan. Park. All the way 
it back to Palace is up. Guangzhou are working hard, but Kitchi still look the more threatening when they're going forward. It's the first time in Guangzhou's history that they'd failed to score in their opening two matches in the AFC Champions League. One win in 11 coming into this as well, and not been on the best of runs. Raul Baena. Dejan. Good ball, chance for Ho. Couldn't quite reach it. Chang makes the save. That's a lovely ball poked through. Ho Chun Ting was onto it. Great work by Dejan. Just couldn't reach it, Ho. Clever ball by Deja. Kitchi now making it. Double change. Muddle going off. Law coming on. Ho coming off, having had that chance a moment or so ago. And it's the first appearance for Zhu Ying Zhi. Seen him at all off the bench as yet. Law started the opening two matches. Do these sites will meet again in three days' time. That effectively would be a, a home fixture for Kitchi, even though we're playing all the games in the same stadium. Park just caught. Chu knew his side of being a battle today, and they certainly have been. Guangzhou have been tough to crack. That penalty goal in the first half didn't open the floodgates. Credit to Guangzhou for their efforts. It's Chen Kun. Cancella. Brilliantly spotted, early ball in as well, it's too high for Dejan. It's Law, the man who's just come on with the block. Another player that's been at Kitchi all his career. Another player in the side that's only got the one career goal, Law, against RNF last season. Shoot. 
great ball. Law on the chase. Dejan racing through the centre. They've got red shirts back in control now. All with a shot which was blocked. Too many red shirts back behind the ball. Cleared away. Oh, what a chance. Matt Hall has had three chances to score now. He hasn't taken any of them. Lovely ball from Chu, the substitute. Maybe a first time cross from Law. Just gave the defenders a chance to get back. He went for the side foot. All credit to Chen Raijin for getting his body back in between attacker and goal. Shoe with the corner. Law's header. Bayana. Cancelo's pushed up on that far side. The fullbacks have just tucked in for a moment. It's going back to the halfway line. Park. Out of their own half at the moment, Guangzhou. Long range effort from Clayton, didn't dip though. Only a metre or so over the bar. He only needs uh, a glimpse of goal, the Brazilian. Just high and wide. Clarified by the way, if the teams in the group finish level on points for the what the competition's going on, it's goal difference to decide the positions at the end of the six matches. If teams are level, it comes down to the head to head between those two teams. So, while goal difference is important now, it may not have a bearing on the final league positions at the end of the competition on July the 11th. that 10 points was enough to send two teams through as the best second place teams from the western section so that's the sort of yardstick that these teams are looking for in terms of points the win here would take Kitchi on to six with three games to go in the arm, Wang Wenchuan.
Tong. Oh, Fangling Bo. Clayton. Stopped in his tracks again. Raul Baena. Law. Or. Oh, the header almost crept in. Chang just got a hand to it. Oh, how many chances has Matt all had today? He just seems destined not to score at the moment. Great ball in from Law again. Good delivery. Or was strong in the end. Chang got a fingertip to it to turn it wide. So he looks to have the making of a very good goalkeeper, Chang. Good positioning, good movement, good feet movement. Good positioning. Can he command his area from the corner? Referee once again will have to stop things. Dejan with a word for Helio. It is Helio's header. Well, why? Dejan was just nudged off the ball out of the way and allowed Helio to come in behind. Guangzhou was known as Guangzhou Evergrande until January when they just became Guangzhou FC. First Chinese club to play the Club World Cup, having won this tournament twice and thus qualifying for that tournament. Eight-time Chinese Super League winners. Not since 2019, though, have they lifted their domestic trophy. Seven in a row from 2011 to 2017. They were the, the dominant force in Chinese football. Marcello Lippi, one of the well-known foreign coaches. Gildo Rodriguez, Korea's Lee Jang Su, had a couple of years in charge. Now, of course, it's Fabio Cannavaro, who succeeded Luis Felipe Scolari. It's big names of coach this famous Chinese football club. Cannavaro is very nearly the club's longest serving manager. He needs 11 more games in charge. And he will actually surpass Marcello Lippi as the longest serving manager in Guangzhou's history. Chinese Super League temporarily suspended at the moment due to the COVID issues. Rare touch for Paolo Cesar. I'd love to know how many touches Paolo Cesar's actually had of the ball in this game so far. I'm guessing it's still in single figures. Testament to the players that are in front of him. Midway through the second half. Kitchi still leading by that Dejan Damjanovic penalty after 36 minutes. And heading for another three points, a second win, which will tuck them in behind Cerezo Osaka. Can't fault Guangzhou's work rate. They're just lacking that little bit of inexperience they've got at the moment that's just showing. Side flag up against all. <laughs> Haven't managed a single shot yet, Guangzhou. Twenty two shots for Kitchi. 
five on target. At least three good saves by Chang, the goalkeeper. Raul Baena. around the challenge with ease, still going. Tom. Worked hard down that far side today, Cancella. Seen a lot of the ball, particularly in the first half. Is Park. Trying to feed that down the line to Law. Guangzhou. Three games left, as we say. They'll play Kitchi again in three days' time. Then it's Cerezo Osaka. And their final game on the 9th of July against Port FC. Towards Dejan, good defending though by Wang Wen Shuan. by your law on Wang. Chiang King's been penalised. Did get the ball, but did go straight through the player as well. Free kick to Guangzhou. Double change coming up for the Chinese. <laughs> Ning Hao Xu and Li Ji Hao are coming on. And it's Chen Kun and Chen Rai Jin. Two players that are coming off. Sit in terms of changes now for Li Yu's side, all four made. Xiao Wen Jie came off the bench against Port for the final 13 minutes. And Li Ji Hao making a first appearance in the competition. making another change. Matos coming off, always had chances today, hasn't managed to find the net though. Shinichi Yat is the player coming on. Right, it's been a frustrating day for Mator, as you can see. He's worked hard, probably deserved a goal for his efforts, but just didn't have any luck in front of goal. They were very good at getting players back behind the ball, Guangzhou. Yats is on. 
Came on in both matches so far, just 18 years of age, Shinichi Yat. Four matches tomorrow for you. Groups H and G. Gathered by the goalkeeper. First match tomorrow is Johor Daral Tazim against Pohang Steelers. Should be a good one. Followed by Nagoya Grampus against Ratchaburi. And then Changra United from Thailand against Gamba Osaka. And Jombuk Hyundai Motors against Tampines Rovers from Singapore. That's the four matches for you tomorrow. Group G matches are actually at the fourth match day in that group already. They were the first matches to kick off a week ago, just over a week ago now. This Cancella. Tong, it's a good ball, but a space here for Zhu, the substitute. That went down, but very easily, no way he was getting a penalty for that. It's a heavy touch, Clayton got a foot in, the referee gives the free kick. by Dejan this time. Yet. Miss out the first man. Wen Wen Shuan with a challenge. With the at the block rather. This is Li Ji Hao. Ralph Baena still working hard in midfield. So much experience running through this Kitchi side. Touch again for Palo Cesar. Cancella. Her throw. San Hengbo. Li Ji Hao. Well, to get to the byline, blocked by Park. And a corner. For Guangzhou. Finally, a chance maybe to put Palo Cesar's goal under some pressure. They could get the big guns up from the back for this. Come on, come on. 
ball across, plucked out of the air by the goalkeeper. Guangzhou still haven't managed to shut on target yet during the whole match. Kitchi have been very well organised. Back four and the three in front. I certainly feel Kitchi that they could be serious contenders for, if not winning the group, certainly finishing in second spot. Port FC might have something to say about that as well after their battling performance earlier against Cerezo. It's an interesting group, this one. It's one of those groups you feel could go right to the wire. Just trying to run the ball out of play, but he was being fouled. Still pressing here, still full of running. Made all five substitutions, don't forget, so they've got fresh legs on. Wen Tian King, Fan Hengbo. King. Inside the final ten minutes of the game, then. It's not been convincing from Kitchi. They have had chances. Matt All, who's gone off, had a couple. They hit the bar through Park. Chang made a couple of good saves. Dejan's penalty, the only breakthrough that we've had. Although here comes Cancella. Defending again to concede the corner. Chow and Chase stuck with him all the way then. The run, oh, volleyed over again, it's Park once more, who missed that chance earlier. All the way to the back post, and he's well, only three metres out, if that. Just couldn't get over it. He was tracked all the way by Rao Chen, but he'll know in his heart of hearts that he should have done better with that. By Aina. Yeah, goes all the way back to Cancella. <laughs> Wen 
Chen Chiangqing. Luo. Guangzhou with a free kick. Is there a chance to get a late equaliser here? It'll be Rao Chen with the free kick. Hello, says has come. Good shout as well. Good punch. Wang Wenxuan. His back heel, it almost came off. Had to play for a throw, though. Cancelo won't rush himself to take the throw. By Dejan. Law was just. I thought he'd be muscled off the ball, but he's the one that's been penalised, Law. Shoulder to shoulder. Just bounced off Wang Tian King originally, then brought him down. Guangzhou will only have a short time to regroup. I wonder if the Eastern section will produce a champion for us this year. Knockout stages later on in the year, of course, in September. Final around about October, November time. Eight teams from the West already sitting in wait. They've got their Round of 16 games with the draw for that already sorted. And in 12 days' time, we'll know which eight teams are joining them from the eastern section. Will Kitchi be one of them? So this group is a fascinating one. Port and Kitchi have shown that they've got good talent involved. They could easily a few upsets along the way. Here's Tong. Dejan. Law. It's given away. It's a tired looking pass by Tom. It has been very hot here again today. Credit to the players for keeping their energy levels going for 90 minutes. Xiao Wenche. Tackling back by Yat. Chu. Foul. Challenged by Tong. Clayton. He's still full of running in midfield. Clayton. Feng Hengbo. Just spoken to by the referee. Was booked a little earlier on. May have been a yellow had he not been booked, but. Didn't get the ball. He does move the ball out of his feet while Clayton almost drawing the foul from the opposition. Very clever player. Looking challenge from Fan Hengbo. Away by Paolo Cesar. Not very far. He's off his line. We've already seen one goal from distance today. That one. Not quite.
quite the same quality. It's come off the back of Dejan's head. He didn't know too much about it, but he was. It's offside or a push, but it's a free kick anyway to Guangzhou, whichever. Another wasted ball, really. Just that little bit of composure needed on the final pass. Kichi will sit there and take those in all afternoon. So Paolo Cesar hasn't had a save to make. Guangzhou haven't managed to conjure a single shot. They've worked hard. You can't fault the work rate, you can't fault the effort. Alan Cancella. <laughs> Just a question of how much added time the officials are going to add on. Three minutes. Tom. Law. In towards Clayton. And ball. Just come off the arm of Chow Wen Che. It's a long way out this one, but Chang is getting the wall sorted out as if he's expecting a shot. Shinichi Yat has placed the ball. It is Yat, went for the curl around the wall, but Chang again had his goal positioning just right. Last effort. He stayed long again. Tom kept his eye on the ball. Yat. Cancella. Elio. Now Park. Tom. Free kick to Kitchi. Should just be what's needed to run off the final 30 seconds. As we mentioned, the sides will meet again in three days' time. There's a yellow card for Cancella for time wasting, which means he'll miss the next match. So it's an expensive yellow card for Cancella. He'll be disappointed with that. Referee urging him to get on with it threw the ball away and picked up the yellow so he won't feature in the return match or well, the reverse match should I say as the full-time whistle goes a single goal enough for Kitchi in the end frustration for Cancella right at the end and you can see it's just hit home I think that he'll be suspended for the next game it's Dejan Damjanovic who got the goal how many times in Champions League history have we said that his 39th goal in the competition it came for the penalty spot after Zhang Ji Howard brought down Dejan himself inside the box. Guangzhou still pointless, still goalless, but still playing with heart and spirit. And you've got to admire these young players. The goalkeeper Chang 
Looks a very good prospect, made a couple of really good saves, but ultimately the better team won on the day. Kichi winning it. It's Guangzhou. It's finished Guangzhou FC nil. Kichi SC one. Thank you. 